And now to sports, where Brinker Simpson and Company participated in the Delaware County Chamber of Commerce annual Young Professionals Kickball Tournament yesterday. Sadly for the BS and Co. kickball team, it was a new year, but the same old story, as it dropped a 6-5 to five heartbreaker to the Philadelphia Union squad in extra innings. While the BS Co. squad were able to beat its perennial rivals, LPL Financial and Risk Averse Insurance twice during the tournament, they're going to need to wait at least another year to capture that elusive Delco Chamber Kickball Championship. The squad was led by Team MVP Nate, Nate Dog Wainer, Nate flew around the outfield flawlessly, chasing down fly balls throughout the day, and was a stalwart at the plate, batting in the winning run in the opener versus LPL Financial, and kicking one over the fence versus the Union. Michael Uncle Tito Simpson proved that life does get better as you approach age 50, leading the entire tournament in batting average. While figures are all estimated, Michael went 9 for 11 at the plate while also doing an excellent job as the team's pitcher. James JTB Trubenbach Byrne provided a steady presence behind the plate and showed his might when he ran over the LPL team's first baseman resulting in a double. If any of you see this guy walking towards you in the hallway, watch out because he is not stopping. Eric E. Money Klein was complimented by a female opponent during the game for being easy on the eyes, and he made playing first base look even easier, gobbling up every ball that came his way and provided timely hits throughout the day. Andrew Zebo Bukowski ended his Brinker Simpson kickball career with a bang as the team's most reliable fielder at second base while consistently getting on base at the plate. Team captain and emotional leader Tom the Beebs McGarrigal left it all out on the field punctuated by a diving catch and a two-run homer versus the Union after some chippy play with the Union. John J. Bizzle Beck was once again one of the firm's finest players, providing a shorthanded third base and consistently getting on base with his small ball approach. Matt the Minge, Minji Jr., acquitted himself well in the outfield, chasing down fly balls, and he continues to be the finest leadoff hitter in the Delco Chamber kickball tournament year in and year out. Adam Thirsty Lips Thirstlick continues to be a monster each year batting cleanup and always comes up big with play after play playing center field for the squad. Jeff Hambone Hammonds made his Brinker Simpson kickball debut in impressive fashion, consistently making things happen at the plate and he also saved several home runs at the fence. Last but certainly not least, Adam I Don't Play Small Ball Raymond came on for Jeff Hammonds in the final game playing in his bare feet with a determination that caught the eyes of his teammates as a potential full-time addition to the squad next year. While the Brinker, Simpson, and company squad fell short of its goal, they all had a great time and a sincere thank you to all of our co-workers who were able to come out to support the squad during the tournament. With a special thanks to Madison Hartwig, who taunted the Philadelphia Union squad with her mean girl comments throughout the intense matchup. For all of us here at Channel 4 News, I'm Ron Burgundy. You stay classy, Delco.